Hi guys. So from today onwards, we are starting this series on geometry. So we'll be doing some high quality questions on geometry here in this series, and uh, the questions will have uh, very uh, many questions, which is uh, many concepts which are not known to you. So we'll say we'll you'll be facing some very a uh, new questions, uh, some unknown concepts, right? And revision of lot of good concepts, right? Basically, how to apply. Two three concepts in single question, so all that things we'll be learning in this series here. Okay, let please follow this series here. Okay, so look at the first question in this series, guys. The question says that how many diagonals of fourteen sided sided regular polygon do not pass through the you know, center of the circle that circumscribes the polygon? See, so first of all, the uh, we should know the formula for number of diagonals here. So number of diagonals in any polygon, number of diagonals in any polygon. Okay, is equal to n into n minus three divided by two. Okay, so n into n minus three divided by two here. Fine. So I hope you remember that I derived it in the classes also. So basically, it comes from the formula of n c two minus n. So total out if there are n points in a plane here, if there are n points in a plane. So total number of sides uh, or the lines. If I join all these lines, so all these lines. If I join here, multiply all these lines. Okay. So total, I can draw n c two such lines. Huh. From that n c two lines, if I subtract the number of diagonals, right? So let's say example of like four points here. There are four points in a plane. And with these four points, I can draw total four c two lines. Okay. This is four c two lines here. Four c two lines. Correct. So out of these four little lines, if I subtract the number of sides, that is this side, if I subtract here, so if I remove all these sides, right? So let's say for example, uh, let's to total we have we can draw these are four sides, huh? <coughs> and these are two diagonals. So total four little lines I can draw, and from that I can subtract the number of sides here. So if I can do minus four, that means these four sides are subtracted. So what I'm left with, I'm left with. Four C two is basically six. Six minus four is two. So I'm left with two diagonals here. That's it. Okay. So what is the total number of uh, diagonals in any polygon? So that is n C two. That means n C two is the total number of lines I can draw by joining all the pair of points. Okay. And if I, if I subtract number of sides from that, I'll be getting number of diagonals. Okay. And this, if I solve it, it is n into n minus one divided by two minus n. That is equal to n into n minus three by two. That's the funda. So you can remember this formula, right? N into n minus three by two. You can remember. So okay. So after this, now I need to see some pattern here. Okay. So let's try to find some pattern. Oh, so if I see, uh, we have got a got a fourteen sided regular fourteen sided regular polygon here. Okay. This concept is actually only applicable to uh, what the concept concept which I'm telling telling you is only applicable to even number uh, evens uh, basically even number uh, if the side is basically even number. Okay. So even number sides of that polygon, okay. Like for example, two, four, six, eight, like that. Okay. So obviously, polygon starts from n equal to for any polygon, n should be greater than equal to three. That means it just starts from four, right? It has to be a quadrilateral. Okay. So if I take a regular polygon, so regular polygon means all sides are equal, all angles are equal. That means if I take a four-sided polygon, I need to see a square here. If I take up a square and if I draw some diagonals in this, okay. So if you see, if I draw any diagonals here, okay, there are two diagonals in square. So in a square, there are total two diagonals and two diagonals will pass through the center, okay. So in four-sided polygon, that is a square, okay. Uh, two diagonals will pass through center, right? Acha. Now let's draw a hexagon here, okay. If I draw a regular hexagon, that is six-sided polygon. One, two, three, four, five, and six. If you see here, so in a six-sided polygon, if I draw diagonals one, two, and three, so three diagonals are passing through center, right? So three diagonals. This is diagonal number one here, diagonal number two, and diagonal number three. Okay, so three diagonals are passing through the center here. So here, in a six-sided polygon, in a six-sided polygon. Six-sided polygon. There are three diagonals that pass through the center. Then, only if I try to make an octagon, okay, let's try to make octagon here. A regular octagon, right? It should be a regular octagon. 
so octagon means it's an eight sided polygon in an eight sided polygon in an eight sided polygon if i draw all the diagonals here so you can see if one diagonal number one diagonal two diagonal three and diagonal four so here four diagonals pass through the center of the hexagon okay so basically i should understand that this pattern will go on four side two six sided uh, three eight sided four then ten sided it should be five then 12 sided it should be six and then uh, 14 sided in a 14 sided polygon it should be seven okay so basically uh, seven diagonals will pass through the center in any in a 14 sided polygon regular polygon seven diagonals, diagonals will pass through center okay now what a total number of diagonals here so in any 14 sided polygon the total number of diagonals are what put in 14 here 14 into 11 by 2 this equal to 77 so total there are 77 diagonals in 77 diagonals 7 diagonal will pass through polygon so 77 minus 7 that means 70 diagonals will not pass through the center of the polygon okay so 70 is the answer for this question and mind it it's a very good concept right this concept is only applicable to even number of sides of polygon right even number of side polygon so 2 4 6 not 2 okay uh, four six eight like that so that's how uh, this question will be solved and remember this concept this question can be asked for a 12 sided polygon 10 sided 16 sided right anything so make sure that you you know the funda behind it okay thank you